okay for someone to spit in your food at a restaurant? Anybody that's ever worked in emergency medicine for very long or actually be in uniform, whether it be law enforcement, fire, EMS, we all have those restaurants that we've kind of avoided because we've had some of our customers or clientele that may work there. So uh, that leads me into this topic today. Hi, I'm Kip Tiesort for an episode of Chronicles of a Culture Changer. You know, uh, spending much time at all in public service, and I can assure you as a policeman, there are restaurants that I didn't uh, visit. As a paramedic, there were times that I made sure that I skipped certain places because of who I knew was working there. And this is because not only have you heard about it on the news, but we've probably heard someone tell us that it has happened or we've seen where uh, the news has occurred of it happening somewhere where somebody may have been arrested for spitting on their food. You know, when you think about it, an employee at a restaurant, whether it be fast food or even a fancy restaurant, spitting in someone's food is like um, a revenge kind of a thing, wouldn't you agree? Um, is there ever a time when it would be considered okay or reasonable or justified to do so, to spit in somebody's food? Well, we know the answer to that is no, it's not. Um, but it happens, right? What about uh, you just park your brand new car in a parking lot? You go into the big box store, you come back out, and somebody has keyed your brand new car. Um, they probably believed or this person believed that you had parked too close to them or whatever or they felt slighted by you and so their revenge at the moment was to key your car. If I gave you another example that may involve law enforcement because you've probably heard about it because they get judged by use of force more than anyone else in the country but have you ever heard of a police officer maybe cranking those handcuffs down a little bit too tight you know to try to use a little bit of pain to, to uh, deal with some drunk that's been just a real jerk? Is that reasonable or justified? When you look at these things, whether it be someone keying your car, someone spitting in your food, an officer cranking down those cuffs a little bit too tight, would you agree that those are all uh, related to the same kind of reason? A person wanting to uh, get a reprisal, a person wanting to get payback for a way they felt that they were slighted? So if any of these things were occurred to you, so somebody spit in your food, uh, maybe an officer uh, arrest you for whatever reason, detained you or whatever, and it cranks those cuffs down a little bit too tight, or someone keyed your brand new car, would you think that any of this stuff is okay? Um, the reason I, I bring this up is because would you check that? I, I wouldn't want you to, to implicate yourself in anything, but have you heard of medicine being used punitively? Say someone starting a 14 or a 16 gauge in the back of, a, of an uncooperative intoxicated person's hand. Uh, that was being Maui. What about that uh, same type of drunk that's in the emergency room that is cussing and yelling and spitting and doing stuff so the doctors um, order a paralytic and then have this person um, intubated because of no other reason than they were being a drunk jerk. So if you think about it, is that not us or someone in medicine doing something very similar? So when you look at it, the behavior is the same or the reason behind that behavior is the same but none of it is ever justified. What I'm asking you to do is to really consider the dangers of what's going on with our jaded culture and medicine. It's not everybody. The overwhelming majority of providers are still wonderful people. The problem is that the, the culture is becoming jaded and this use of force or the misunderstanding and how we're able to use force is really causing problems all across the country. And all it takes is one incident for you to have to have your agency spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to try to regain the public's perception. Uh, that we're not these, you know, jackbooted thugs out there wanting to beat people up and stuff like that. So I need you to consider that. Us using mes medicine punitively, and again, I'm not perfect, but us using medicine punitively, whether it be starting an IV in the back of someone's hand, a large bore IV that is, um, you know, using a paralytic is no different than if you were that waiter and were spitting in somebody's food because you thought they were rude or mean or had slighted you in some way. It's just one piece of the culture we need to change. Guys, I'm Kip T. Sort. Thanks for taking the time to watch. If you believe in our message, make sure you let other people know we exist. I'll see you soon.